there, friends? Kevin here from the Club Production Podcast, back with a reaction video, and I was wondering recently, what was Bandmate up to? Like, I haven't reacted to them in a while, they have a new song out. I thought they released a new song like three weeks ago, and I'm sitting here thinking, what? What the fuck? What took me so long? Why didn't even hear about this? But you know what? Better late than never. So the brand new song, Protect, who's been out for a couple of weeks, and this is my first time listening through it. You guys know I love reacting to Bandmade. And every time I listen to him, I end up going absolutely bonkers, nuts, finding something incredible about the band that I had no idea about. And let's give it a shot now. But before we do that, be sure to subscribe to the Corporate Crush Podcast right down here. Brand new episodes of the podcast every single Tuesday and Thursday and these Friday reactions as well. So come join the community and he 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 let's get to it. You are the best. Okay. Papa la 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 Ooh, that transition's a really nice piece. The guitar work here is always impeccable, and so far this is showing the exact same thing. Very on brand for Bandmaid. I think this song would be characterized as transitions, but that bass line right there! Releasing this in the summer made absolute sense. This has the drive and that energetic pop to it. This looks a little bit more of a bite in the pre chorus at times. Well done. I love that little bite at the end. How the world does not recognize her as one of the greatest guitarists out there is still beyond me. Konami's insane. Okay, bring up the energy towards the end, come on, give it to me! Oh, that's catchy. Oh, that's real catchy. Before we get into the breakdown, do you like ketchup? <laughs> do you like $20? Aw, oh, $20. I wanted a peanut. And do you want a podcast in your life that Rolling Stone says initiates profound discussions with rock and metal artists, allowing fans to discover the creative workflow of their favorite musicians and understand the factors that make the band succeed and fall from fame? If you said yes to any of those questions, you better sit, subscribe to the Core Progression Podcast right down here. We have new episodes of podcasts coming out every single Tuesday and Thursday, bringing you some of the best bands in rock and metal, some of the best upcoming bands in rock and metal. And we got some great ones coming up for you soon. We have Maddie Mullins from MC Fire and Anne Berlin coming on. We have Mushroom Head coming. We're trying to get bands like Jairus Johnson, Alleviate. We're going to voice a bunch of prop back on again. 
Fame on Fire, Player Royale, Void of Vision, Sand Atlantic, Scene Queen, Yours Truly, Drugs, Boston Manor, Crowbot, 156 Silence, and possibly even 0936. So we got a lot coming your way. Be sure to subscribe down below. Do not miss out on another episode. Become part of our community. Thank you, everybody. But now, Let's go to the breakdown. Alrighty, so that was Protect You by Bandmade. And there are three things that really stick out to me. One has been the consistent guitar tone throughout the entire thing. It was incredibly crisp, not only in the verse, the pre-chorus, but the chorus as well. It allowed it to have this, you know, the song have that rock flare, but a little bit of a lighter flare to it. So it has more of that pop for a summer song, which of course being released in July of 2024 makes a lot of sense but it just had that consistent flow to it and they allowed the song to really pick up an energy to allow the vocals to really come forward and add that in for not necessarily intense energy, but more upbeat and really energetic style energy to get going in there. The vocals though, I love the more bite to the vocals as well. While I have seen maybe a little bit more from Bandmade previously that I have enjoyed a little bit better than this, in terms of the vocals though, I love especially towards the end, there's a little bit more of that bite to it and then you have the such catchy like la 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 la, just it really brings forward more of that catchiness to it and it helps a song like this really stand out in the minds of fans and be something that you know you listen to this in concert you see this live it's gonna have a good time it's gonna have the energy but when it comes to bandmade we all know when it comes to guitar solos you shut up i learned that the hard way and i had to right there for that because once it starts out you get more of a melodic shred feel to it so it really brings a little bit more of this different tone to really draw you into the song more but then as Konami shreds even more the rapidness gets to it it shows such musicality and such intricacy in the mindset of how to build a song how to create the sound where I i'm still shocked that the world at a large rock metal community does not really recognize Konami as one of the best guitarists out there. It is absolutely clear as day where she can go up against any of the ones that are on the top of their game right now, stand out there, and absolutely shred. Like, I would love to see a battle between her and Mark Tremonti. That would be something and honestly be pretty cool. So maybe we get it to happen on another tour if, where I say when, Bandmade returns to the US because I hope that's soon. I want to see him live again. It's been a year. Want to do it again? Come on now! That was my reaction to Protect You by Bandmade. Really enjoyed the song. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the Corporate Garage podcast right down here. Uh, new episode podcast every single Tuesday and Thursday. Reactions every Friday. Hit the like button right down here. This is Kevin. I'm out!